Yeah, I thought today we would uh, I would uh, try to get into those copper statters right there. I don't know, it's probably been a month, two months since I kind of broke them down to that point. And I thought I'd go ahead and get them cleaned up, get them off the shelf, and uh, make a little room there. And kind of see how much copper we can get out of it. So stay tuned and we'll start cutting and breaking it down. Okay, we got a couple of the uh, little bit bigger ones here. And uh, I'll cut them first if you're wearing uh, earbuds. Make sure to go ahead with the angle grinder. So, start with the big ones and then work our way down. I don't know how many I got of the total. Let's see. That's three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About 18, something like that. So we got a little bit. So anyway, let's get it going. Got to plug the grinder in. a good start. First one's aluminum. Terrible. Next stop, step, I'll be able to take my air chisel and try to 
pull everything, chisel everything out of the, everything, and with some of this stuff, probably won't take a whole lot of cleaning. But some of this I may go ahead and at first kind of clean it as I go. I just wonder if I can get cut through it. Here we go. Get that off of there. Let's cut through on that side. This way it's cleaned up and out of the way. A little bit of plastic on there. out of here and make a little room. I'll just set that right there for now. Got a couple wires lingering there. to get away and they don't seem like they want to pull out of there either so okay put these two in a wheelbarrow there's a little stiffer trying Didn't make a lot of room, but we made a little bit of room. So, I'll set this aside real quick.
Okay, I thought I'd go ahead and get a weight on this, call it a video. Uh, I still got to clean, you know, the plastic and you know, the tape and strings off of that. But on that bucket, we got oh six pounds. Bucket weighs a little over three ounces, so it's just a little over six pounds on that one. About eighteen dollars. And we got 3.7, so yeah, take an ounce or so off that other one. We got about three and a, three and a half. So we have take about a half a pound off. Got roughly six six seven ounces. So yeah, say take a half a pound off. We got nine and a half pounds. About twenty-seven dollars, roughly. I take a little more off for the strings, and, and then on the aluminum we got one pound three ounces. Because that's still going to take a lot of, a lot of cleaning. Take a little time. I might just take that in the house and do it, do it in the AC. So it's uh getting a little warm out here now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was going to go ahead and try to clean up the rest of that, get all the strings and everything out, do it on video, but high speed, speed it up so it wouldn't drag out so long, but I don't know. It's hot out here. So I think I'll go in the house, call it a bit, call it a day. Well, I'll probably be out here later. It's only 2.30 right now, so if that'll focus. Still got a lot of time. So we've got a little bit there. I probably got to run up to the city here by Tuesday, pick up some of my meds. So I'll probably take a bucket of copper up with me. I got uh, I think this green bucket so I'm getting a little bit in this one. I think there's roughly about 35 pounds in that one. <coughs> Give me some pocket money. Some. Yeah, I got that kayak. I think I'm gonna like it. But I'm kind of looking at a little John boat too. That way I can kind of rig it up with lights and everything and do some night fishing for catfish. So, and uh, wife and I got to talking and I thought, well, if we had an enclosed trailer, we could put all our camping gear in it and everything. And then when we got back from camping, we wouldn't have to unload. So last week I got looking around online and uh, got me a nice red 12 foot uh, cargo trailer. Trying to do the financing online, and uh, they wanted you. I guess they wanted you to be a business. They expected only businesses would be buying those. So, you know, they wanted to know the name of the business and all this, and is it a LLC or whatever. And uh, I just wasn't getting anywhere with that. So, I went to the credit union where I bank, and my wife had a loan on there for her Energen One, which I think we still owed like 2700 on it or something. So they just combined the two and the payment only went up $82 a month. So, shoot, I can't I can't complain. I think the other finance companies that I was trying to go through, they they were saying, one was saying like 140 a month and the other was saying 120 a month. So 82 a month, shoot, that's a bargain. So I'll be doing a little bit of upgrades on that. I'm thinking I can put in a little pulley system and hoist the kayak up towards the roof and then I, I do some rigging I can stick a 12 foot uh, John boat in there so that's kind of the plan but I got to get the funds together for the John boat and that probably won't be a, added until next spring or something so no time soon unless I can get some money together during the winter months and buy it in the off season I was looking at one of them boat trader type deals and man, them John boats, 12 foot John boats are dirt cheap up in Washington state. I'm thinking probably because there's so much water, so many people have them, they're just, the market's just flooded with them so they had to bring prices down. But 
here in Oklahoma, you're probably looking for a used one in real nice shape, probably at least six, eight hundred. Of course, you're all, that's almost a new price anyway. On well, I was looking at found one or twelve foot one tracker or something, but it was a 2019 model, so they just had it in the warehouse for a while, and they had it marked down to eight hundred. But then some of the other ones that are you know brand new, they wanted about sixteen, you know, just for the bare boat. So. I think one had a lifetime warranty on it though, so would have been nice. But uh, yeah, we'll add that to it later. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had a great time. Hope you're getting some good loads out there and good prices. I know you're staying warm as long as you're up here in the in the U.S. Those guys down in uh, Australia, it's winter down there, so. They're, they're trying to stay warm. <laughs> Guys in Canada, it's not too probably not too bad up there. It's probably hot for them, but yeah, not not near as hot as it is down here. Yeah, you know, like I say, right now 99, and uh, it was 99 when I was out here yesterday. And then when, by the time I went to go in, it popped up to 100. So, of course, then you got the heat index on top of that, so it's probably 103, 105. Humidity's not real, real bad. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. And those of you asking about the black truck, it's sitting right there. i got to do a brake job on it. Uh, i got to replace the caliper and uh, rotor. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Happy scrapping. May your trailers be full or pickups be full anyway, and your loads be heavy. But don't overload it too much. You'll tear your equipment up. Bye-bye.